Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball. It's the midweek episode. The home run derby is among us. People are signing up. There's some open spots left, though. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball, presented to you by Seat Geek. My name is Jimmy. I'm sitting at a table next to Jake. BBD's across the room producing, and Trevor Plouffe is in California, back from his trip in which he murdered fish. The Home Run Derby is among us. We will be there. We will be there, second year in a row. Maybe my favorite event I have attended in the audience. It's a grand old time. We're going to talk about the contestants that have already said, yep, I'm doing it. And we're going to talk about the open spots and try to find out who we would like to take those places. Now, this is the midweek episode. It's not live. So by the time you listen to this, maybe some of those three spots have been announced or taken. That just is the nature of the beast. Trev, how are you? Missed you. I missed you guys. You know, Monday episodes are my fave. Um, I tuned in for a little bit here and you guys crushed it. So again, thank you for that. Did go out in the boat. We did catch fish, 12 bluefin tuna to be exact. And guess what my captain's name was? Jake. Jake, he was the best. He didn't suck. So I finally met one that didn't suck. And now I'm back here with you. Uh, a person who's been mean to me today on Shots social media. Fired at Odorizzi. No, it's a... Uh, Damn, that's true. You got me there. <laughs> when you say... Like him too, actually. So Maybe it's just you. I'll cover up the Odorizzi situation. When you're named Jake, you're either a dog or you're someone... There's an asterisk next to that. Or you're someone that can handle a boat well. And your captain, Jake, mm. and jo- Jake Odorizzi, fantastic behind the wheel of a ship. Uh, I'm still the outlier. Uh, just a guy that grows good facial hair. Excited to talk. That is fucking gross, dude. Oh, took a turn. <laughs> took a turn. Um, <laughs> okay, I thought we were going to have some fun this episode. There's a video coming out tonight. It'll be out by people listening to this of us at Fenway, and there's a shot of Jake. Have you seen the Fenway video yet? What do you mean? Have you seen it yet? No. The shot of you in, in the opening when you're delivering your line, you don't look like you at all. Yeah. It's... It's weird. It's a scuzzy goatee. I've said this before. When you okay. put that goatee on, you're just like... People yeah. think differently of you, Jake, yes. and like you, you're like a nice guy. Like usually, when you're walking when you the streets, on, you're a sleaze yes. ball. When you're walking the streets of New York with that goatee, people think about you in a different way. It's like mustache, mm-hmm. Jimmy. He was a different guy. He is a different guy. Phil Cuzzy, we're ranking our top 100 major league umpires at the end of this episode. Um, I'm excited to talk some home run derby. Uh, the LA aspect is actually more fun than I thought. We're, you know, we're going to talk some big Giancarlo Stanton. Like, the the L.A. part of the All-Star game, I think we're going to feel it this year, and that's actually kind of fun. I'm getting excited for that uh, as Trevor sips his espresso. And no, I was going to take a shot at Trev. Let's put the, let's put the weapons down. Let's put the weapons down. Yeah, relax a little bit. It was bit. actually kind of the ultimate you, I thought compliment. you were going to do that read. I think it's if Trevor... It's where baseball is funny that if there was an all-star game in Minnesota and Trev had 18 ding-dongs going into the break, I think he could have won the home run derby. I genuinely think that. After seeing you win Mauer's thing, you've got your... I don't hate that you said that because I've always kind of thought that about myself. I think you told me that before you won the Mauer home run derby, and now I believe... Um, I also believe if you have premature ejaculation, you should take care of it. No, I thought we were doing the all-star one. This is. Okay. For some people. If you have premature ejaculation, it's something you need to deal with. Seriously, people. Seriously. Uh, men, or if you're a, a lady, then maybe your man is dealing with this. Roman swipes. Roman knows, Roman swipes. They're clinically proven to help you last longer in the bedroom. There's no prescription needed. PE treatments are safe, effective, and used by millions of men. Free two-day shipping. Go to GetRoman.com slash talking today. If approved, you'll get $10 off your first order. That's GetRoman.com slash talking. If this is something you're dealing with, fellas, 
Mm-mm. We have a solution. Roman mm-hmm. swipes. Go check them out. Give them a try. DM Trev. Let them know how they worked out for you. Thanks, Roman. Get Roman.com slash talking today. $10 off your first order. What's your uh, ideal time? In the in the bedroom again, Jake. We went over this before. Yours was like four. So this minutes. is tricky. No, no, you, I'm, I'm, fifteen minutes. You is all naturally you need. count in foreplay, and it depends what kind of foreplay we're doing. Like eating dessert. I think twenty-two minutes is like the longest you need to go. But that's like that's you going. That's farm, extreme. That's farm to table. That's you removing clothes. That's you seven minutes and then fifteen minutes. Yes, you are a slow on dresser. Gosh, I do like that. Why would stop? Let's stop. Okay, let's let's stop. Everybody, go Google uh, uh, Phil Cuzzy and Paul Ben Victor, and let me know if you think they look alike. Phil Cuzzy, Paul Ben Victor. Let me know if you think they look alike. Uh, okay, because I think- I've heard that comparison before, James. No doubt. Great. Glad you know that. Home run derby. I don't know where you guys want to start. I can start from the rip. I'm pretty passionate about the home run derby. I am a Pete Alonzo fan. I know that we're wearing the John Boy Media jerseys that will be for sale. They're LA themed. They're cool. I like them. If not, I would have an all over shirt of Pete Alonzo's face. Beat Pete. Try your hardest. You won't. I don't think we need to talk about anyone else in the field. I think it's bullshit that there's someone that's clearly not going to win attending and taking the, I do think it's bullshit pools as part of the home run derby, just to let you know. Wow. That's an early take. Really? Yep. It's that's off the rip. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm ripping. Uh, you get a million, you get half a million dollars if you win or a million dollars, right? I think a million, you get a million dollars if you win. Um, it's a chance for a lot of pre art players to earn some money. So and, pool host wins, donates it to charity. And, and, bump up their star level and be on the stage. Uh, we've talked about this a lot. Like I, or last year we talked about it. Whatever, whatever. Beat Pete, you won't. That's my main thing. Pete Alonso is the first guy I want to talk about. He's won the last two years. He's almost earned as much money from winning the Home Run Derby as he has from playing baseball. He's the only person that's earned money from the Home Run Derby because the year before he won, they didn't give winning money to the winner. Uh, he bobs his head. If you didn't watch the last two seasons, he raps to himself. He's in his own yeah. world. His hitting coach or is pitching to him. Who's no longer part of the Mets organization, but he's coming back because this is more important than anything else. Pete Alonso does. So beat Pete. You won't. I'm the biggest Pete Alonso fan. No one else matters. What are your thoughts on Pete Alonso going for the three Pete? Jake, I think Trev, yeah. Wow. Maybe we just announce who's in the field, but yes, I'm I'm a, I'm on the Pete train here, bro. One hundred percent. We saw it in person last year, and he's tailor made for this event. Um, I agree with your Pujols take, James. I think we'll get to that a little okay. bit later. Okay. Um, I I want to see how many years in a row Pete can win this event. Like he could, it, it could be a situation in the near future. Let's just say Pete plays six more years in the big leagues, okay? Mm-hmm. He wins the Homer Derby every time. If Pete Alonso det- retires from playing baseball, they should still let him come do the fucking Homer Derby until he loses. Absolutely. A- absolutely, that's true. Oh, but then he's going to be life. taking money from young baseball no, but, players. No, but he's earned it. But he's the champ. He's the champ. Albert's about to be the champ. No, Albert will. And he's going to run it for the next 15 years. Uh, <laughs> you think I, I, I made this to point earlier today. Years? I was talking to C Rose a little bit about this. It's going to be funny when they do exit velo and they're going to do all the stat cast stuff. And we see Ronald Acuna Jr. and Pete Alonso, obviously, these young guys with their incredible bat speed. I love Albert. He doesn't have the bat speed like he used to. Like we're going to see a little bit different uh, type of home runs here. I don't. I, do you want to get into that? I don't know, man. It's an endurance competition. Somehow Pete Alonso has the endurance. One. Uh, it's adrenaline for just a to take the episode. The just to take the episode a slightly different route. You guys are soft as shit. Two. How? Okay. We'll get there. I just wanted to let that out there. 
Pete Alonso, I accurately predicted him to win the home run derby last year. If you guys remember, we took a video mm. on the way there. Um, you were the last I, to pick, and there was no other options. Trev, Trevor Plouffe as a first pick, actually. First to pick, but we also did two uh, videos, and, and he switched. Uh, no, people oh don't know that. Gosh. There's only one video. I had Joey Gallo. I remember Trevor that. Plouffe had to kiss me uh, because he said if a right-hander wins the home run derby, he had to kiss me. Did Gallo win? <laughs> No, he. I, think he was, I thought he was going to win. That was like I put all my chips in the. Did gallop. he do well? No, big stage. <laughs> I knew that. I knew something like that. Was yeah, bro. Uh, Pete Alonso, obviously, the sentiment you guys are putting forward on him. If this becomes part of his legacy, that's awesome. Mets fans will be coming at you saying this is the most important thing Pete Alonso does as they're on their World Series run this year, Jimmy. Thanks for unraveling my joke for all the people. Pete Alonzo will win again this year. Uh, you guys are right. It's almost one of those Bama football things. He literally, when he's taken batting practice every time in his life, it's been a home run derby. That's why he's good at it. Uh, Pete Alonzo's not a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on slapping it the other way today. He's never done that. There's no need. It's how hard, how far can I hit baseball? And he does it. So, uh, Pete's a big favorite. It'll probably be him and Pujols in the finale, uh, which would be a nice moment. And, yeah, man, I mean, I, I'm shocked you guys aren't into the Pujols thing. I know there's, there's a young stud aspect to it, but it's all-star weekend. Albert Pujols is one of the best players to ever play this game. We get romantic about seeing Cal Ripken play an inning at shortstop. I can get a little romantic about watching Big Albert hit some ding-dongs. Yeah, I'm not All into right. it. I like that he's there. I like the legacy thing that he's showing up. Uh, I like that he's going to get like an at-bat and then get clapped for and stuff and the ceremony, but I'm run derby. Give me someone. Like, how many duds have we had? Like, Gallo, like Albert, who else was a dud last year? When you get Every those, year you get duds. Yeah. You're going to get a dud. But purposely putting one in stinks. But like Mancini, people didn't think Mancini was going to be good last year and he ended up in the final. So we, we don't know. Like... If this Pete is Alonso the thing about Pujols, is in, James. Is in the, is, if Pools is in the finals, okay, I'll do whatever Trev had to do. What did Trev have to I do? Make out with Jake kiss in front me. of a lot of the people no, at I've Coors Field. You. I don't think you want to do that. I've kissed Jake a lot. That's not. It's fine. So this is what we're forgetting, James, about Pujols. The guy has 684 career home runs. He is a home run hitter more than any of these One motherfuckers of the that are in all the, time. He's better than any of these motherfuckers that are that are coming for him. Better than, you know. So, like, in that aspect, we have a generational, an all-time home run guy. I mean, 684? Is that even fucking right? That's, in, that's insane. So, I can't. Yeah, he's allowed. He's allowed to do whatever you want. Thank you. I'm, I'm back on Pujols now. I've changed, James. This guy's hit too many homers for us. To sit around and tell him you can't be in a home run. If he does terrible in the first round, then everything I say stands. If he advances past the first round or makes it close, then I'll say that was wrong. But oh I my just, God, he's fifth all time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's one of the best baseball players ever. Saying, this doesn't give a rod. You don't get a chance to come in here, bro. This is not an open invitation. Uh, for that's you, okay? where I also differ. My just friend. give me <laughs> homers and no dud rounds. I mean, you're Gosh, always going to be it. interesting, man. I don't know. He does. Like, you watch him hit now. Like, you know, it's going to have to get extended out there. Jay, you got to keep the hands make in, sure, right? Make him. sure a lefty's on the bump. If Albert's, if Albert has a righty throwing to him, I'm out. Okay. Yeah. What if he's got his mom who's a righty? Um, I mean, there's some different connections there. I would allow that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, Soto. He said he's going to do. the home uh, run I just went to click on Albert's splits, and I went, you know, all the way to the right and click him, but his splits have two rows, so I didn't mm. get the most recent year. He's played a while. He's played a lot of baseball. Played a lot. 684 Eight. Jimmy Jacks. 302, 875 OPS against lefties this year. 302. 302 batting average. 875. How many homers you got? Three. 
53. I'm rooting for Albert. Like I said, if you hit that many homers, do whatever you want. That's my official stance on it. Thank you. Okay, Juan Soto. Who else is in it? Yeah, Juan Soto. I tried to move on. Juan Soto is in the Derby. Yeah. Um, he defeated Shohei last year in round one, and then lost to Pete Alonso in round two. Juan Soto. This this may be the most important thing the rest of his season, and then like his contract, because the Nats ain't playing for shit. Can I tell you something about Juan Soto? Yeah. Yeah. So he's kind of had like his least Juan Soto y year so far. Okay. But you know, unfair standards for him. Last year he he had a comparatively slow first half too, I believe. He says the home run derby fixed him. Oh, baby. So this is the most important thing for the rest of his season. There you go. I'm rooting for Juan Soto. Jake. I not. love. Love that he said that. I mean, Guys are so soft, it ruins your swing. A one round of BP ruins your swing. Get out of here with that. Like, I don't know. What did a did a player come up with that narrative? Or what like when did things start that the Homer and Derby is gonna ruin your swing? Uh probably coaches. Like when coaches tell hockey players they can't play pond hockey or they play baseball players they can't play wiffle ball, and it's like high school swimmers don't have sex the night before a meet. It's just coaches lying to control you. Yeah. And, like, everyone else is like, no, play with a wall. Play pond hockey. Like, have, have, have fun. You're a kid. Uh, but Judge did get hurt when he did the home run derby. So that's why he doesn't want to do it again, unless it's in the Bronx. I'm a big stan of don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. That's kind of where I like to live. Um, so I just said it's going to be Alonzo Pujols. But, like, Pujols how are you going to get hurt? I mean, if you just try to – I mean – how many homers did Alonzo hit last year? It yeah. was like 80-something, Yeah, it's right? a lot of rounds of swinging, Trev. Like, it's, it's definitely a bigger BP session than anyone's used to. He's thinking. I, I just... I get it. And it's a timed it. game. It's a rhythm, so you're just like, boom, 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 boom. It's not slow. Your body is just so used to swinging, and it's a lot of swings. And by this time, everyone's built up. I don't know, man. I've done. I've never did the MLB home run derby. I've done home run derbies before, and I just it's not like that pressing or that damaging. I I, I hate that excuse that it ruins your swing. I think that's complete BS. Okay. Well, fix Soto swing. Just looked at Soto yeah. Soto stats. It's ridiculous that he's having like a down year for him. He has an eight seventy OPS. Um, I think he is starting to go now. And like uh, Beeb said, his second half last year, <laughs> the reason that's considered slow, his numbers are actually eerily similar to his first half last year. In the second half, he went 348, 525 on base, a 1.164 OPS. What did he go on base? <laughs> 525. Well, no one pitched to him. Um, so, uh, Jimmy with Soto, I'm rooting for Alonzo, I'm rooting for Pujols. You're not and rooting then for Soto. I'm rooting for the crazy performance. So if that comes from Soto, okay. uh, if that comes from, if an Otani participates, mm. if a young Carlo, but... That's not this part of the show yeah, yet. Yeah, not this bro. part of the show. You're always getting ahead. You're always getting hey, ahead. Hey, never. Juan Soto ahead. last year, and do, do you remember this home run? I'm trying to remember it. 520-foot shot. Was I battling with uh, Hample? That while was all the this one was Hample on, caught probably? right in front of you, I think, right? Uh, I don't remember that. Otani hit the farthest home run, but it wasn't during the competition. Do you remember he hit the triple deck in right field when we like just got to our seats? Warm and ups, BP? yeah. That's the craziest home run. Like the whole stadium went fucking nuts, and I don't even think the broadcast had started or anything. That was crazy. Yeah, that's who we, I was thinking. Shohei, Gallo, and there's one other lefty who I was. Oh, Soto. Those were the guys. I was like, they got to win. And then Pete just, you know, it's become a thing with Pete. I know we're, we're going backwards a little bit, but yeah, we already did this part of the show. If you do it twice, you got to do it the third time to defend. And now he's like, he's locked into this. Is until he an he All Star this year? He's yes. not a starter, but yes, he's an All Star. Well, but last year he wasn't even an All Star. Yes. Which is why it was a mate. He was just a mercenary home run derby participant. Who is that? Alonzo. Alonzo. 
which is it's what awesome. he does. Yeah, it's what he does. Yes. He has to participate until he loses. So we might see Pete Alonso do this for 50 years. Yeah. Uh, Soto. Okay, Jake's not rooting for Soto. Schwarber. He's part of the home run derby. Everyone yes. loves Kyle Schwarber. People like him. Having a good season. I mean, he feels like I'd circle him for longest homer candidate. I think he just beefs one. It, he's also a guy that's made for this event. Like you're, you're saying Pete Alonso's made for this event. I feel like Schwarber's, you know, we saw him, you know, with the bow last year. Was that during the playoffs, right? When he was missing the balls at first yes. base, finally made the play. So he's, there's a little bit of showmanship there for him. He was like a an actor and he was doing all his plays at his high school. So like this dude knows how to put on a show and he also smushes baseballs. Mm. Second time doing it. He I'm reading right now. He made it in the finals um, after beating Bregman and Hoskins, but he lost to Bryce Harper. So this guy's got it. This is like a, I don't know if it's a dark horse, but Schwarber did say that he'd be a front runner. He said he wouldn't do the Derby unless he is uh, an all-star, so he's already lost to Pete Alonso, who would do it if he had a broken foot. <laughs> so I just don't have faith in him. It's just kind of like it's a second fiddle to being an all-star, where this is Pete Alonso's main fiddle. Can I tell you guys maybe a text, his only fiddle? The text I sent yesterday. Yeah, it was to Jerry Blevins. Yeah, and mm. the text said, "I love Pete Alonso." Nice. He's the most genuine creature on the planet. Yeah. Ernest. People are calling him Ernest Alonso. He struck out to Max Freed. Max Freed dotted one up and in. Yeah. And Alonzo turned and looked at the ump and he thought he might be mad. And you know he asked the question like, was that in or was that is that the corner? Or whatever Alonzo would ask. Probably corner. The ump said, Yeah. And Alonzo just goes, Okay. And just went back to the dugout and was like, well, next time I'll get him. Yeah. It's like, that's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. So you're not rooting for Schwarber? Rooting for a performance. Okay. Um, Who are you rooting for? Pujols and Alonso. And a performance. Those are my three. Who yeah, are your guys' three? Three P's. I, I have under- one. Pete Alonso. I have Alonso. Got me. I have Alonso. I, I opened up the he's whole my thing. One. No, he's mine. I picked him last year. It carries over. And then you didn't pick him. And then that got him. You guys can, got there's plenty He's of polar me. bear Pete to go around, guys. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, Schwarber said uh, it was fun but taxing the last time he did it. Sounds like he already hates it. I don't know. He's out. Next up, Acuna. Mm. Acuna Jr. Can I say something? Yeah. I think I'm ruined for Ronnie. You are? Oh, yeah. What about the three Ps and that's it and their whole thing? So, so take one away. Because Take we a throw P away. Out. Take a performance away. You only get three roots, obviously. Because we throw out Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Ronald Acuna Jr. Yeah. I throw out. People call him Racuna. The underrated phrase too Don't much. Don't hate it. It's pretty easy to say any MLB blank is underrated. Tommy Edmund. Paul Goldschmidt, the St. Uh, Louis Cardinals. Cunha is underrated. He's a top. Everyone yeah, talks about him as a top player. He doesn't get talked about as much as the other guys. What other yes, guys? He like yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he, does he does not. He came back from the IL and they threw a fucking parade in Atlanta. They he like, does so, not they get like made shirts that was like he's back from the IL during the Buy World Series. They showed him all the time because it was like Ronnie Acuna is not with the team. One of the most talked about players in baseball. You guys are so mid today. He wears Ronald yellow Acuna instead of Jr. neon, and I fucking love that. Neon stinks. He needs to get talked about more. So a home run derby. I didn't even I know the Braves jersey that. had yellow in it until Ronnie that. showed me. <laughs> yeah, it might still not. He's I don't very know. Very artsy as well. So you're rooting against Ronald Acuna Jr. Yes. Okay. Great Twitter. So you've this was supposed to be my guy Mets that I'm Madigan. rooting for, by the way. So, okay. like, if I can take your route away, I think I'm going to. Done. I'm off of him. <laughs> I'm on Ronnie. I think this guy is going to love the big stage. And we, this is L.A., and it is going to be fun. There's going to be celebrities there. And there is, you know, it's, it's a different atmosphere. I think Ronnie eats it up. I think he eats that shit up. Okay. So, I'm going Ronnie as my number one route here. Okay. 
Underrated. Of my three. And then of your three, who did you erase to add Ronnie? Oh, I'm out on Ronnie, dude. You missed He's him. out on Ronnie. You started oh, okay. zoning on that computer. Said Trev can have Beeps. him. Last time, Acuna did the home run derby. was 2019. Lost to Pete Alonso in the semifinals. Yeah, and that's obvious. Uh, that's all we have for people that have signed up. There's been rumblings. Giancarlo Stanton might want to do it because it's his hometown. Uh, mm-hmm. He said nothing's official, but I definitely could be there. And he's athletic as shit. Yeah, no, he's really athletic. Here's yes. the problem with Stanton. He's in the game anyway. Oh, my God. It Trevor. is his town. <laughs> we know what Uncle G likes to do. Athletic Greens, town. AG1. Uh, Trev, a lot of people are using this, and they're asking, what is this stuff? And it's with one scoop of AG1, you're getting 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, and probiotics. <clears throat> Chris Rose was intimidated by Trevor Plouffe and how sexy he is. He started using Athletic Greens. He loves it. Trev still I mean, better-looking guy, but it's different ages and stuff. But with AG1, there's a special blend of ingredients that support your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, energy, recovery, focus, and aging. All of the things. By the way, if you haven't heard it from us, you've probably heard it from whatever other shows you've listened to. Athletic Greens is everywhere. But with us, Trev, and athleticgreens.com slash baseball, they're giving you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash baseball. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash baseball to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. What's your favorite vitamin? A, B, C, D? J. That's not a vitamin. That's what I used to give the ladies. Jam? <laughs> jerky. <laughs> yeah, kind yeah, of well, jerky, yeah. Dude, jerky. what's up with like jerky the leads random to the jam. jerkies? No, no one wants salmon jerky, bro. Like, Nobody wants to try it. Bears would try it. Oh, you're right. Bears want salmon jerky. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. There's some options. Judge has said no. Vladdy, Vladdy has said no. Uh, Buxton has said no. Yoron got hurt. Harper's hurt. So they're still looking for, as we do this right now, three people. If you guys pull up the list of starters or all-stars, and let's just limit it to that. Obviously, you can. Oh. Per, you don't have to. If you have someone that's not an all star, shout them out. But caveat, I, th- I like that, James. Let's do that. But caveat, also a hometown. Because okay. they do that in the all- in the home run derby quite often. It's true. Uh, like a Dodger. Yes. Pools. Dodger. Yeah. The, uh, people remember him as a Dodger mm-hmm. more so than anything else. Yeah. Looking at the. Uh, American League and National League. I do have a player here that if he decides to do it, okay, I would root for him, but also think it's bad for the competition of the Derby, but also think it's great for the Derby. And that's my guy, Alejandro Kirk. Mm. Oh. If he was to do the home run Derby, people would tune in, and then <sighs> they'd tune out. Mm. Like first round, Kirk versus Pujols, two homers wins, something like that. They pitch to each other. It's their own thing. It's on another field. It's not televised. They're just hanging out. Trev. Trev, get your boy. (laughs) I mean, I could see a world where Alejandro Kirk in the actual on the field homer derby could be a fun thing. We got Pujols in there. It's not like it's far-fetched. This... I was going to talk about this before we, we moved on too quickly. The problem Pujols is going to have is I think if you hit homers over 450, you get extra time. Mm-hmm. He's, does he still have that in him? 450? He's got a 110 exit velo this year. All right. Top All of right. my head. I got some names who I think would be great. We listed the obvious ones. Stanton is there. Hometown guy. I think he might be just like wanting to party. So like probably – like Monday night, he's probably like, actually, you I'd guys, rather just guys, not be yeah. there. You guys do it. I'll watch. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna. I got like this 
Uh, whatever. Maybe four beautiful oh, women waiting. Um, Goldie, he's an obvious one, isn't he? Not like Shohei, I think, is the most obvious one. Goldie's not about that life. Shohei did it last year. People are love begging for him Shohei. to be there. Lost in the first round. Baseball, Angels are dead. Angels are dead. Baseball would like it. Shohei Trout. Do it. Trout or Shohei. Ooh. I mean, this is LA. Like, where? Like, they have to be there. They have to be part of the festivities. I understand they're playing in the game, but like, sh- let's showcase our fucking stars, man. Like, whatever you got to do to convince these guys. Like, obviously, it's their call, their choice, but. I'd entice them to get in on this. Like Trout in a home run derby, it's kind of like, you know, when, you know, Kobe did a, a, you know, the dunk contest early on and like, you know, wouldn't do it again. And I mean, like you, the dunk contest is kind of ridiculous now. You want your stars in it. That's, I don't want the home run derby to become that because we've done a pretty good job of getting our stars in the home run derby. Yes, we sprinkle some randos in there every year, uh, but this is something we need our guys in. I have a theory. Do we think a Dodger besides Pujols enters the Derby? Mm, what are your options? Uh, if they're all stars, Mookie, Trey, those are the options. Justin Turner. Okay, if it's just like not an all star, but just a guy, a guy that the crowd would go fucking nuts for, it's Justin Turner. Like he would probably get the they loudest love, ovation there. They love Justin Turner. You kind of need a guy from the team who's hosting it. Right. Well, that's maybe. maybe. I think. Well, you, Trev's you, right with the crowd. I mean, the crowd gets juiced up when their guy comes out, even though it's not the hometown crowd. They still get juiced up. I don't even think so. Last year, was a Rocky in it? I was trying to think back. I don't think a Rocky was in it last year. Um, story. story. Yeah. Yes. Oh, story was in it. But uh, story was a rocky last year. Everyone just cheers career. for home yeah. runs. Like, they, like everyone got cheers. It was just they didn't it's even care. It's true, but the hometown guy. I'll be the true. only person there booing every home run that is an Alonzo home run. Mm. I think that the the Major League Baseball, the Major League Baseball, everyone loves that. I think Major League Baseball has Jazz Chisholm on the burner. Like we know Jazz is going to accept. If no one else accepts, that's like a power hitter before him. We will just get okay. Jazz to get the people going. He's got 14 bombs this year. couple things. Uh, Alejandro Kirk, like you mentioned, he could be Pete Alonso's poison pill. Um, he could be the one thing that neutralizes him. So I'm a little worried about that, which is, as Pete Alonso's only fan on this show, uh, has me a little worried that you throw that out there. I'm not a fan of Pete Alonso, the baseball player. Right. I'm a fan of Pete Alonso, the home run derby champion. Same, and he's rolling over from last year. We covered that. So I'd be scared if they added Kirk. Um. Trev, I kind of love what you stumbled into, and definitely this is what the MLB is thinking. Otani Trout, the same announcement. We're both doing it. Like, I think Dude. that's absolutely what the brass of MLB is trying to do right now. And both of them are like, kind of no. Yeah. Like, we it's do want to win. Our team just season. stinks. It's been a tough season. <laughs> yeah. Otani doesn't care. Trout's done. Dude, Mike Trout okay. smashing baseballs oh. with the slow-mo 4K HD cam. I don't think Trout can do it, just to let you guys know. Busy? No, I just, if he doesn't, like, crush it, it's like, he's got a, he's got more to, like, it's almost like... What are you, this guy like, is going to crush it, dude. It's almost like, like LeBron not doing the dunk competition because he's, like, a little more to lose in game. That's soft, though. Soft. That's soft. so soft. But I agree with you. I think there's more to lose in game. I think that Trout would be like perfect for it. Again, like that's baseball porn, putting him in front of all those cameras, doing that like on the stage. Like I, I think Gatorade probably wants him there, you know, slugging back a G raid in between his sets, you know, like that's marketing 101, baby. Like let's get these guys doing it. Trout, you got to. I'd rather have Trout in it than Otani because Otani did it last year and, you know, he's doing a lot of stuff. Trout needs to go do it. He needs to be the guy that says, all right, Pete, like Pete and Trout, who's the front runner there? Pete. Pete. I don't think so. I think Trout becomes the automatic favorite if he enters that, com- that competition. It's hard for first timers, man, unless you're Pete Alonso. 
Trout's never done it? Well, the new format, I don't think. The new format's way different. It's a lot, a lot of swings. Do you want me to go over the format? Yeah, tell everyone. Okay, I got to get back. All right. Oh. Here we go. I got it up, guys. Single elimination bracket system mm. with three rounds total, which mm. I love. Quarterfinal, um, semifinal, final. Three minutes per round in the first and second rounds, two minutes in the final round. The clock starts with the release of the first pitch and round, and the round ends with a uh, timer strike zero. The homer will count as long as the pitch was in the air. This is one thing I want to happen, though. We got a lot of dudes not following the rules. Yeah, I mean, the Schwarber homer has got, to land. Schwarber got cheated by Harper and his dad. Homer has to land before you throw the next pitch. People don't do that. But you know who's never cheated? Fair. The most genuine guy in baseball. If Pete Alonso's pitching coach or, or hitting coach throws a pitch before the ball lands, he has caught it in recent history and thrown it back and say, too fast, coach. We don't history. cheat here. We're Alonzo's. Anyone in his circle is an Alonzo for the day. That's what he says. 30 seconds of bonus time will be granted to each batter at the conclusion of each regulation period. A hitter can earn an additional 30 seconds of bonus time, giving him 60 seconds total if he hits at least one homer that exceeds 475 feet. Okay, that's what it is, not 450. So you can get an extra 30 if you go extra Yahtzee. This is where Albert, does he have a 480 in him, Jake? Trev, have you seen how Albert's built? There's swing offs, there's timeouts, there's all that stuff, but it's just a great format. Um, and then the winner. Here we go. If Yachty doesn't pitch to Pools, is is everyone mad? No. Okay. Fair. You need a lefty to pitch to Pools. So I don't know, man. This the, I, I do love the home run derby. I do love it. Are you gonna catch a ball? That's up to you, boss. We're there on work. You know, I don't know what I'm supposed your to be job doing is there. To, Last your, time your, I tried to go get job, handballed. And, your job is to catch a ball. As long as there's camera people around you. You catch a ball I and can, it's not on camera. It's not good. No one cares. They just think count, you're a liar. Count. You're also uh, there to shit talk As long as I can get into kids. the bleachers, I will do my best. We have bleachers seats. And then we have left field bleachers oh, we're seats. in the bleachers. Yeah, we're in the bleachers. Oh, yeah, I'm in then. I'm yeah. in then. Yeah. Cons- Consider this, consider this my warning to Zach. I've been working, perfecting my craft, and you you doing what you did to me last year really motivated me. So mm. I got to hand it to you. And then if there's any little kids there, you have to shit talk them. That's also your job. Oh, that's easy for me. Yeah. Uh, Pujols' longest projected distance home run or, or hit at all. 425. 426 I have versus... Aaron Ashby. We're going to have some Lefty. juiced balls. So, you know, he might have a, a swing there for him. And you know what? These these readings, sometimes I don't believe them. They might just say he hit one 480 just to say it. But that, oh. could where we, that could be where he falls into trouble. I also, I wouldn't rule out. What if Pujols goes out, does the first round, and he's hitting dingers. He's in on it, and then he uses his timeout. And, you know, fatigue's kicking in. Albert's feeling it a little. And then he taps in, like, Manny Ramirez. And it's just like, uh, they do, like, a Legends team. And they just keep passing the baton. It goes, like, Manny to Poppy. And they just keep going timeout to timeout. And then A-Rod finishes it off. Always does. I think you need a lefty, and they're standing in opposite boxes looking at each other. Every other Uh, swing. Every other swing. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last pitch, they swing they at the same swing. time, and it goes twice as far, 800 feet. It's the longest ball ever hit. Yeah. Self Does Julio action. Rodriguez make an appearance at the Home Run Derby? Oh, maybe that's who Albert actually passes it to. It's like an old man to the young man. Oh, he like pulls some, gets hurt. Who's going to do it? Oh, passes it to Julio. And at the end, he's like, just joking. I wasn't hurt. It's like a shooter from uh, the movie. Okay. Who's so yours? who's our winner? Who's yours? Pete. 
I'm on Pete. Who are you guys taking? No, you switched your... Mine rolled over from last year. You already know this. No, I'm on Pete. Been Pete for me. I'd rather Dude. kill myself than root for someone else. Okay. If Giancarlo... Metaphorically. Yeah, metaphorically. If Giancarlo steps in... Early exit. I, I don't want to I'm going to pick him. Okay. If he doesn't, and I'm just picking from the field here, I'm going Ronnie. Going Ronnie. If if Stan wins, if Stan is in, someone's going to get hurt in the front row. Yes. Dude, he hit a fucking ball out of Dodger Stadium before. Like, this guy needs to be there. Someone's going to get hurt in the back row if Giancarlo is in. Are we, our seats in left field this time? We were in, like, center field last time. Some came by us, but. We're in left. Dude, the home run derby is so fun. Yeah. It's so when fun. Mancini, he was pepper in our section, and when he went off and it was like five homers and ten swings, it was like ah ah, <laughs> it was diving and dodging, trying to get out of the way. It's scary. Jake got lost. I didn't get lost. That wasn't you. <laughs> no. Okay, someone else. Okay, maybe it probably was. Yeah, I got embarrassed last homer derby. So this is sort of like a vengeance type day for me. There's storylines for everyone. Yeah. I mean, I like he, he literally he got himself. embarrassed. That was tough. You did get embarrassed. Yeah. You got dunked on. Like, that's the most humbled you've been. Uh, Jake striking you out in Blitzball to end the game is probably the next, the next, the next step. That hurt a lot, but you know, we know the redemption arc was there. Well, this one, I'm not, I mean, I got it. I have to have my redemption arc. I guess on that's, Monday. I guess. You were embarrassed in the moment, but then it was also like, this is what Zach Campbell does as a lifestyle and choice. So you were kind of, no, with it, with me, I just mowed your ass down. <laughs> I waxed it. You, Trev, you did Trev. some trickery on a 3-2 pitch. You Front door cuttered me. Some trickery. Yeah. Pitching, Great pitch. I tip, my, I tip my hat to you. What do yeah. you mean? I yeah. tip. We tip our hats to you each other. You tip your hat to Hample? I mean, your whole goal was to shadow him and make sure any ball that came near him, you got. And then one ball, the first ball that comes to you, you guys both go up to get it. It was, it was. Come down, and he has it, and you are like, what the fuck? No, I, I didn't even see him, dude. He wasn't even around at that time. I went to go get the ball, and all of a sudden, some guy flashed right in front of me, and it was him. So, you know, I, I'll say this. I wasn't as aggressive as I probably needed to be, but in the moment, there's kids there. I'm not trying to knock anybody down. I was trying to be respectful in the way that I went for balls, but that's not, you know, that's not how you have to be if you want to be at the top of the food chain. So I might just have to put my weight into it a little bit and kind of use that to my advantage. Cause I, I have the size advantage on Hample. He definitely has the skill level over me right now, but you know, if I lean on him a little bit, we'll see how it goes. Okay. I, uh, I have an official update of sorts. Ian Hap currently not doing the home run derby. Hmm. I, I texted him HR derby question mark. He said, don't think the guy with eight homers is getting in the derby. I said, with that attitude, I bet you're right. <laughs> he said, ha, 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 I'm just excited to watch. And then he asked if we're going. And it's like, come on, Ian Happ, you know we're going. Yeah, come on, Ian. We're going to be at, up, we're gonna be at the, the home park. run derby, and then during the game, we're going to be at the Boomtown Brewery. Trevor Plouffe will be there. Former yes. reliever with an ERA in the twos a couple years. Peter Moylan will be there. Guy that looks like Jesus sometimes. Jerry Blevins, there. Mm -hmm. Like an alien, really. Company dad, Chris Rose. Lost his virginity at the Boomtown Brewery. Joe's McFly. A lot of sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the Boomtown Brewery. We got ice, not so much for them, but they'll be there. Uh, Kelsey Winger, Paxton, BBD, Dan Canobio. What's this going a lot of people. Jake will be there. Who are you most excited to see, Jake? Bill. We'll see. Bill. Bill. Sam. Sam will be there. Zach. Lucas. Um, I'm excited oh, to Zach see the people. Wins. Fuck. Yeah, Zach wins the sex game. But we're going to be at the Boomtown Brewery. There's a couple VIP tickets left. We're doing a VIP thing beforehand, two hours before the game. 
we're hanging out, we're doing a panel, have a beer with us, come yuck it up, um, get a shirt, uh, some drink tickets and that. And then during the All-Star game, we're just chilling and watching. So uh, come on through if you're going to be in L.A., if you're heading out for the game, if you're heading out just for that weekend. Uh, Tuesday, July 19th, VIPs 2.30 to 4.30, and then we're hanging out and watching the game. So there's a link in the description. Trevor Plouffe, I think you have a question. I have an update on who's going to be there. Uh oh. My Egyptian goddess, Olivia, will be oh. in person, Boomtown Brewery. Uh, it's going to be a big night. Right. Big night. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Oh, news? I'm kind of uh, frozen right now. I can't hear you guys. JD Martinez, Garrett Cooper, Carlos Rodon, all named to the All Star team. Also, we mentioned him earlier, Julio Rodriguez had like an eye emoji kind of quote about doing the home run derby. Which would be cool if he does. Okay. So who's in? Rodon. Rodon, Garrett Cooper of the Marlins, Koopa and J.D. Loop. Martinez. Koopa loop, couple DHs. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Except my captain, Jake, who doesn't suck. Really good boat captain. Put us on the fish. Him and Odo. And Jake Odorizzi. Yeah, Odo's cool. Not a big fan of Jake Taylor from Major League, the movie. Like, like dude, just give it up, bro. Like, let the kids play a little bit. Um, that's about it. The rest of you suck. <laughs>